welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about uh, something else beyond biologies, which began in my previous video. <clears throat> Had a small little sneezing session and clearing my nose and all of that after that. It was bad. Anyway, where was I? Oh, right. From Bound into Comics. Bel Air is the latest example of Hollywood's horrible trend of woke reboots. Was for now reboot of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Apparently, it's done by Will Smith. He yeah, does something of thereabouts. Either way, I saw the trailer and at the very first thing, the very first stuff that I actually saw it, and then I said, Hell no. That's not Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's not the Fresh Prince of Bel Air that I fell in love with. <clears throat> hey, remember when the idiots and woke tards say, that you actually need to see yourself on the screen to actually feel something or feel represented. Well, I did not feel represented on their own definition because there were only black actors and rich people in there and one poor dude <clears throat> who then lived in America and very specific into a better rich neighborhood. But yet somehow I felt represented by all the characters in there. Yet, I feel connected to them. Yet, I cared about them. Why is that? Why is it that these woke idiots do not understand that? Yet, I uh, I felt like the Will, Will Smith character spoke to me. Because shows like that transcend things like race, identity, politics, and stuff like that. We... Uh, we didn't have identity politics like crazy like we have today, where you actually need to have somebody of a specific race, gender, sex, or whatever. On TV to feel represented, to feel connected. Only idiotic morons needed that. You need... You, all you need is just a good story, good actors, and you're set to go. For having a show that will live for decades after it's done, like Fresh Prince of Bel Air. This one, this reboot, will not last long. Well, you can get healed over and over and over again, but people will forget about it. It'll give great content for my channel that I can at least tell you because I'm already milking the shit that is out of it. <clears throat> but rest assured, it's going to be forgotten, or it's just going to be a daily reminder that you should never go woke. Kind of like Ghostbusters 2016, which is just a big, massive shit joke on the Ghostbusters series that nobody likes and everybody loves to poke fun at. And it gives me content for my channel. Beyond that, it's a garbage movie, garbage actresses, garbage actors all around, except the cameos, but uh, it just felt so wrong, even the cameos in there, it just, no. <clears throat> it was all garbage. The story was garbage, the special effects was garbage, the director was garbage, everything was garbage. Anyway, what was I? Oh, right. <clears throat> the term, uh, right, if you're reading this, you'll probably watch the number of your favorite TV sh uh, television shows and movies get a remake or reboot over the last few years. Ghostbusters, Star Wars, uh, Doctor Who, Cobb oh yeah, this one was bad. The list goes on, but they are not a, uh, not you, but these are not your average reboots. The term walk reboot is one that I've been using a few years to describe Julio's practice. Yeah, walk reboot, I think that works. Huh. Fresh Prince of Bel of its name, the decision to move forward with another walk reboot. Ah. <sighs> A remake of the Fresh Prince of Air, but this time we are changing the gender. A com comedy sitcom for gritty. Yeah, we did not need that. <clears throat> the basic premise behind Peacock's Bel Air, the second in the first episode, you are treated with the blurring rap music of local Philly rappers, free with okay, set in a modern day. Philadelphia is one of the say the N word and pulled guns out of each other. This motherfucking Christ, holy moly. This is garbage, this is all garbage. He ends up in jail and is then bailed out by his Uncle Phil and shipped to California where he can become the new Prince of Bel Air. 
This is where the difference between the two shows becomes glaring to the point where it becomes a breaking point for many fans of the show. The names of these characters aren't the same, but the personalities have taken at 180. Let's take the lovable father figure of the Uncle Phil. God, that guy, the actor, was incredible. <clears throat> and turned him into a corrupt politician who cares more about his campaign than his family because you wouldn't respect a black man who lives in Bel Air to keep his no nose clean, do you? <clears throat> yeah, he was clean, he was the... I remember when <clears throat> they were, um, the fresh prince of Bel Air did the wrong things and Uncle Phil caught him. He was stern. He cared about doing the right thing, to be correct, to be honest. I remember that. <sighs> it's interesting how much they destroyed stuff. This is sad, sad, sad. <clears throat> Sorry, allergies again. <clears throat> Speaking of dirty noses, ah, uh, one second. Ah, uh, stand by. I should have taken an antihistamine before doing this video. <clears throat> Holy fuck! <clears throat> Even feel my ears blocking. Whew. Fucking allergies, dude! Fucking allergies! Right. Speaking of dirty noses, Carlton has gone from the nerdy, preppy student who viewed his father as his biggest role model as. Uh, oh no. And he turned into a coke snorting egomaniac uh, whose only resemblance of the original character is he's not done with the culture. Holy fuck! <clears throat> he was very happy on the TV show. He was like uh, a guy who was completely disconnected from the street smarts of the Will Smith, of the Fresh Prince. <clears throat> And he was bubbly, happy, very, very uppity, very, you know, excited about things and stuff like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck were they thinking when they made this garbage? Oh no, don't tell me. <clears throat> oh, for the love of God, don't, he messed her, can't they? Hillary Banks is still a narcissist, so it makes sense that she would have a popular Instagram page. Yep, yeah, okay, so far. And an unfaithful Aunt Vivian. Oh, for the love of God. And Ashley Banks, who is gay now because NBC Universal wouldn't really this project without alphabet representation. And more rap music than a hot 97 concert, and you have a woke reboot of the Fresh Prince fit for modern times, and that is exactly the problem. Because, <clears throat> of course. He has to be gay, otherwise this... Uh, Jesus Christ, you morons! The overrepresentation of the alphabet people on TV is absurd. Why is the ginger representation? You know, at least they have ginger. Where's the Jewish representation? Where's the atheist representation? Where's the white people representation? <sighs> you don't need... The identity politics to feel represented. <clears throat> you don't need to alphabet wash characters. I'm gonna have to actually add her. Have I added her on Fresh Prince of Bel Air on my list? Oh well. I'm gonna have to add it. Later on, I'm gonna have to check it. What an utter, utter garbage. I have so much work to do today. Oak reboots are fundamentally lazy attempts to cash in and establish franchises that do more to destroy legacies than to add them. Yeah. Let me put it this way. I used to love Star Trek. Disappointed, I was obsessed by it. Now when I see the word Star Trek, I immediately think of the STD. 
no, not the sexually transmitted disease, but the sexually transmitted disease of Star Trek, the Star Trek Discovery. Lower decks, whatever new Star Trek they are pumping out that I just do not care or even give a shit about. <sighs> they have managed to destroy their, their IP completely to the point that I don't even give a shit. And that's pretty much the, what they are doing to Fresh Prince of Bella. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> now imagine take a year to blend into a world famous television show that already did the hard work to build the fan base and respect their fans. How shows like Bella get made? I don't get it. Like playing a video game with cheat codes because it's too hard for you to beat the game on normal. Make matters worse, creators think that dropping callbacks to the original series somehow makes it part of the reboot because he said West Philadelphia for one reason. I glad. <clears throat> Popular complaint from the progress only is Darius says don't want new things, they just want the same thing because they're afraid of change. Whatever you say. Just yeah. The project is fine, it's not the audiences that we want in new things. Audiences are fully aware that Hollywood can give it to them. Hollywood doesn't have the ability in 2022 to produce new content and doesn't inject their political ideology. Hell, most of these people still have hashtag resist Tangerine Man in their Twitter bias 15 months into the Brandon administration. <clears throat> yeah, we just can't do it anymore. I just cannot do it anymore. This is just all oh, utter. Garbage, Hollywood! You just have no respect anymore for people, anyone, or anyone left. And that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night. <laughs>